This plant is a laminum album. We'll put the name below, also known as a white dead nettle. Uh, the uh, uh, flowers uh, grow in a uh, circular formation and uh, very easy to identify. It's very similar in uh, appearance to the stinging nettle, but it doesn't have a sting. Uh, you can use it as a cabbage uh, food. Also, I would like to say that uh, <coughs> before anyone, uh, all uh, wild edibles have to be uh, handled with care and eaten uh, with a great restriction. You need to know what you're doing before you actually eat it. So. Um, uh, uh, check local knowledge and uh, books and so on and you'll be all right anyway uh, so the flowers obviously contain uh, nectar and uh, they're quite sweet for a wild edible uh, you won't get any sugar <laughs> rushes but uh, it's uh, welcomed in a, uh, a wild edible diet uh, so uh, that's the white dead nettle or wit uh, plisto as it's known in Sweden. So uh, there's a lot of wild edibles around us. We just have to <laughs> open our eyes. And um, uh, calorie wise, uh, it's um, regarded as a cabbage, uh, so around 25 calories per 100 gram so that will give you a rough estimate of how much you need to eat in a day to uh, have it as a single viable food source and uh, study shows that it's better to uh, cook uh, the food before because uh, it uh, starts the uh, degrading process of the uh, food item and uh, that will greatly uh, decrease the amount of energy your stomach needs to digest it. So that's it. White dead metal. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.